Good day. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Atari 8-Bit Gameplay. I've loaded up a game here called Cube, and uh, I don't know anything about it. Looking at the some of the graphics mode here with regard to the resolution, I wonder if it's intended to be used in an aliasing mode, aliasing way. Uh, well, let's see how that looks if I do that. Oh, hang on a minute. This is also meant to be run in PAL mode. Alrighty, here we are in PAL mode, and uh, let's see about the... Where is it? No. Sound... Video... Oh, display settings, so that's what I'm looking for. Video artifacting, yes. Well, that doesn't make any difference at all, does it? <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, seeing as how that's not doing anything at all, we'll just turn it off and carry on. Press start to report. Okie dokie. <clears throat> Area fuel damage score. Approaching SC area. Do, 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 do. Oh, what's this? Uh, oh, okay. Um. Enemy approaching. Is it the green thing? Oh, I think it's a green. Enemy destroyed. Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe don't hit the cubes? I'm not sure. Or maybe I do hit the cubes. Is my fuel going up when I hit the cubes? Enemy destroyed. What? Is there another enemy? Do I press start? My score is going up when I hit the cubes. Oh, okay. All right. Well, okay. I think I'm getting the right general idea here. Go flying through the cubes as best I can. And getting score and shooting some bad guys. Oh, missed. Oh, damn. I think I... Leaving SC area. Okay. Uh, report. Approaching SC area. Do we just do this over and over again? I, I wonder. Oh, I missed. I think I'm getting... Or am I losing fuel when I go through the cubes? I think if I hit them... Well, then I get some extra fuel. Uh, maybe. Wow, you, you can't fly very quickly or adjust your, your flight very quickly. All right, I got the enemy. Here comes another one. Gotcha. Gotcha, you dirty rat. Got him. Oh, man. You know, I'm not, what I'm not sure of is, I think, ah, crap. Oh, I can't shoot. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I think when you leave the SC area and then come to the next SC area, do you get repaired? Yes, you do, okay. So that's good. I wonder what SC means, space cubes? 
I got the impression from damn from the Atari Mania webpage that this was a, is a German game. Although I'd have to come on, got him, got him. Although I'd have to double check that because I didn't I didn't look that closely. There didn't seem to be any instructions available. Got him, got him. I think. Oh no, I took some damage. It did say enemy destroyed though. Be nice if you had sort of a targeting radical. Oh, damn. Now I can't shoot. Not sure how far along the SC area I am. I guess I just do my best to survive. Yeah! Oh. Okay, he didn't hit me. Yay. Yay, he didn't hit me. He, it didn't hit me, he didn't hit me. Whatever. Oh, I still do have some damage, though. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, the... Oh, this is interesting. The, the flight control seems considerably more responsive at the moment which is which is interesting I wonder if it's different systems that are getting damaged with the dashes and whatever <clears throat> excuse me again without a manual Pretty hard to know. Gotcha. Ooh, try not to run out of fuel though, right? Yee. Area. I wonder what that means. Or does it mean progress through the area? Like the SC area, that's what they're called, right? Am I right? Tell me if I'm right. Okay, my I think that's what it is. Progress through the area. Oh, maybe not. Leaving SC area. Hmm. <clears throat> Does the word area mean different things? Am I going to get repaired? I have so many questions. Ah, no fair. Now I can't shoot. That was no good. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I'm in trouble now. S, L, and F, whatever all of those things mean. Oh, no! <laughs> and an E, S, L, F, E, are all in bad shape, whatever all those things mean. S and L together seem to mean I can't shoot anymore. Steering, maybe? Okay, so those ships are sort of a rhomboid. Oh, game over. Oh, I ran out of fuel. I ran out of fuel. My pocket just vibrated. Why did my pocket vibrate? An email. <clears throat> cool. Well, this is, um... Andreas, Andreas Binner and Harald Schoenfeld. That does, in fact, argue German, doesn't it? Yes, Germany. Cube, Reindorf, no instructions. Partial credits. <clears throat> Alrighty, well. I don't really feel like doing any more, <clears throat> excuse me, doing any more digging here. Select an option, don't seem to do anything. I need to cough, I'm going to mute myself. Alrighty then, where's my screen. Okay, I think everything's in order. Let's have another go. This is this is all right. 
So the fuel bears watching, although once you're so damaged, I think it's a little harder to... Uh... Gotcha. Ooh, so my steering is actually pretty good at the moment as well. Oh, did I get him? Oh yeah, I think so. Enemy destroyed. Okay, I don't think you can shoot these cubes. Not that you would want to since they seem to give you fuel and everything. And the area progression seems to go maybe to the middle-ish. It's too bad there's not a little more variety in the, say, the geometry of the 3D objects you're flying amongst. Gotcha. I didn't... Oh. I didn't actually take note of what my score was the last time. I can always check that on the on the recording. I um I feel like I was in the fourth area maybe. Something like that. There. Oh, see now look, look, the area is only a third, maybe a little more than a third. I'm not sure what that means. Doesn't, whoa. It doesn't seem to have an obvious correlation with the, the duration of an, you know, how long you have to fly through, the distance you have to fly through an area. Although it does increase as you as you go through the fuel gauge is I'm not sure if it's affected by how well you go through with the cubes. I'm not it's not clear to me. Come on, come on. There are times when you don't necessarily want to or when you have to prioritize shooting the enemy over flying through a cube. So the middle portion of the screen is in a lower resolution graphics mode than the upper two, unless those are done with characters. Oh, those, uh, those might actually be done with character effect. Come on. Those might actually be done with just characters, which in which case... Anyway. Um, yeah, the area gauge is about the same as last time. Um, if it's done with character effects, I don't know if that... Ha I don't think that would have any bearing on anti-aliasing. What I was going to say was that... Um, was that uh, maybe this game would look better in high-res mode. In fact, I suspect it would. There's not that much going on on screen. Ooh, that was touch and go. Once you get close to the cubes, there's bugger all you can do. Like you can't you can't go you can't dive or climb fast enough to uh, to have any impact on whether you're can get through them any better. You have to line them up pretty far out. I'm doing a lot better in not getting damaged though. So that's cool. I feel like getting close to the end here. Uh, oh, hey, I got him. I thought I was done for. Okay, so look, the area prog the area so it's further along this time than the than the first two. Interesting. All right. Well, I'll just I'll see how far I can go, how long I can play.
Okay, I, no, I didn't hit it, but I also didn't collide with it. So I didn't shoot it, nor did I collide with it. So that's okay, I guess. Gotcha. Feels like more enemies. Am I rapidly running out of fuel? Can I... Can I get caught up? Damn. He got me. Oh, I got no fuel for that. Oh man, no fuel for that one either. That was close. I'm just on the ragged edge of... Nope, running out of fuel. Shit. That's, a, that's essentially exactly what happened the first time I played. Hmm. Pardon me. Neuropathy. Stabby neuropathy. Whew. Andreas Binner and Harold Schoenfeld. All right, I have to put that in the credits. I think that is all I am going to play of Cube. Not bad. Could use a little more variety, for sure. Anyway, kind of cool. Thank you for watching. You take good care of yourselves. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.